What's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna to be doing a review for the Fine Finds SC3 Gaming Mixer. Now this is a XLR mixer interface and it's got a lot of bells and whistles to it. It's got pitch changes. You can have custom sounds on the different pads on here. There's different like voice effects. You can do it in dual PC setups. You can use different devices on it. There is a lot into this mixer. Now, if you're wanting to jump around in this video, you could definitely do that. I'm gonna put chapters throughout the video so you can just jump around to the area that you're most interested in, but definitely take a look at my final thoughts at the end. And if you have any questions, we can always talk about it in the comments. All right, so let's see what we get inside of the box itself. So you're gonna get yourself a user guide, which is going to show you all the different ports that are on the mixer itself. It's gonna give you a breakdown of the content here. It is double-sided, so I do recommend you taking a look at this because it is gonna show you how to set it up in OBS and a few other things as well. So definitely read the user guide. It's not a lot of reading, but it's really useful information. Then we also have the mixer itself. And then for cords, let's see, this one is going to be your power cord. So it is a USB type C to standard USB, but it could also go into a USB type C as well. So this will just kind of like pop up just like that. So if you want to do USB type C to type C on your computer, you can do it that way as well. And then the other cable we have here is going to be a male to male 3.5 millimeter um, cable. Let's go ahead and do a quick overview of the mixer itself. So on the top left, you have your 48 volts. So this is going to be your phantom power. If your microphone requires the phantom power for electric, this allows you to change the tone of your voice for the custom A, B, C, and D, these are custom sound pads you can assign things to. For the four faders, we have your mic, line in, headphones, and line out. Now you can move these up manually because they do not have a motor, so you'll have to move them up. And if you wanted to mute any of these, you can hit the mute button for the mic, the line in, and for the line out. Now for the headphone one, the third one here, this one allows you to monitor your microphone in real time. Over on the right hand side, you have this little sun icon. This allows you to adjust different types of RGB effects for the mixer. And then you also have a voice changer. You can do male, female, robot, monster, baby, and elder. So that is gonna be all your buttons and your faders. Now up at the very top is gonna to be your monitoring. So you have your microphone at the very top here, and then you have headphone monitoring right here. So if we bring it to the back, this is where we're gonna have a little bit more. So you have your power, which is that USB cable where that's gonna go into. For your line out, this can be something for like speakers. For your headphones, this could be just regular headphones that you wanna be able to monitor your uh, microphone. For your line in, this can be something like an Android phone or a tablet or something like that that maybe you wanna potentially play something off from. And then for your headset, this is where your headset will plug into. And then you also have a XLR microphone input and a quarter inch uh, jack input as well. And you can change it between dynamic and condenser microphone with this little switch here. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up so we can start demoing the actual mixer. So I'm gonna use the power cable that they provided. So we got that USB type C to regular USB. So we're gonna take that USB type C and we're gonna plug that into the back power of the mixer. Make sure it's got that nice and snug. And then this end's gonna go into my computer tower, which I will plug in in just a moment. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the XLR microphone itself and plug that right into the XLR port. I also have a pair of headphones and I'm gonna plug that into the headphone jack so that way I can monitor the microphone through my headphones. And then I also have the line cable going into the headphone jack on my speakers to my computer and that's gonna go into the line in on the mixer here. So that way I can listen to music and everything like that right through into the mixer itself. And when you plug it in for the first time, it's gonna go through its lovely light show. 
and then we get to start demoing and having some fun with the mixer and see what it's all about. Before I get into demoing, I want to let you guys know real quick that once you plug this in, it's going to install the audio drivers for your computer to understand that this is a recording device and that way it will be detected in programs like Audacity, OBS Studio, Streamlabs, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to set it up inside of Audacity and OBS and for OBS it's going to translate the same way to set up your audio inside of Streamlabs. So Right here, I have Audacity pulled up. And if you go over to Audio Setup, you're gonna go down to Recording Device, and you should see Microphone, the Fifine SC3. Go ahead and select that. And you're gonna bring up your microphone fader so that when, when you start talking, you're gonna start seeing some lights here at the top. And if I go ahead and hit Record, you'll start to see that we're gonna have some voice being detected. Now, the microphone I'm using is a Rode Procaster microphone, so it's not a budget microphone, but I have added nothing to it. No filters, no EQs, nothing. It's just directly coming right from this box right here. This mixer is doing all the work. So let's go ahead and also see how this gets set up inside of OBS. So inside of OBS Studio, what you're gonna wanna do is go to Settings, and then we're gonna go over to audio. And then right over here where it says mic aux audio, it's gonna to wanna to be selecting the microphone fine fine SC3, just like Audacity. Let's go ahead and hit apply, hit okay. And then you should also start to see the meter here for your microphone as you're talking. And you can adjust the fader if it's going too loud here, you can add filters inside of OBS and stuff like that, whole separate video but you can add that stuff if you feel like you're clipping too much. So back in Audacity, we're gonna go ahead and kind of walk through all this stuff here. And everything that I walk through here will also still translate over into OBS. Now that we have it set up to where it's detecting the audio. So top left again, you have your phantom power, but if your microphone doesn't need it, you don't have to select it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on mic monitoring and I'm going to bring this up just a little bit so that way I can hear it as I go through electric. Now electric is kind of like the auto tune type of thing. So I'm just going to press it once. It's going to make a white border and we got our little dot here on AB. Now as I kind of cycle through this, you are going to hear some pitch changes, but it's not super drastic unless you really kind of put in some extra work into your own voice. If you're just doing natural talking like I'm doing right now, there's not a whole lot of changes. But if you try to play with it, then it's going to do something. So you have to get a little bit of acting into it to get some fun stuff out of it. Otherwise, it's just, eh, it's whatever. Now, the custom sound pads here, A, B, C, and D, these I'm going to save for last because these are fun. Over here is going to be the light changing. So it will cycle through different types of lights. And you can just kind of find out which one you like the most. Different type of effects. And I think it's pretty cool. So just kind of cycle through it. Figure out which one you like. For voice changer, we'll go through the voice changer here. All right, so this is male, very demonic sounding, very dark. Female. Sounds more of like a teenager. The young robot. I like the robotic side. I'm not a huge fan of the demonic side. For monster, monster is very similar to male. A little bit more on the demonic side of it. Baby. By far the best one out of all of these. I mean, clearly we want to be part of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Absolutely one of my favorites. And then you have Elder. Elder is a little bit better than Monster, but I still feel like Elder, Monster, and Male are just very close to each other and don't really have too much of a separation in terms of sounds. And then if you want to cancel it, you just hold down the button 
until it shows all the colors again. Now for the sound pads, these guys right here, these are fun. So for the sound pads, I found out that you can not only use your voice, but you can also take audio from your computer through the line in. I'm gonna show you how that sounds in this video as well. So we're gonna hold down this button. We're gonna wait till it goes white like that. And now we know that it's recording something. So everything I'm saying right now is being recorded. Once I let go, I can then play it back. We're gonna wait till it goes white like that. And now we know that it's recording something. So everything I'm saying right now is being recorded. And there you go. Now I did mention that you can take sound from your computer, whether it's music or sound clips or just random meme sounds that you wanna use. And you can apply it like this. I need it! Just like that. I feel like that alone is going to need its own dedicated video on how to go about doing all that because that blew my mind when I figured out that I could do that. So that right there just adds so much versatility to this little device for the price point that it is. So that's pretty crazy. Now again, you can still mute the microphone, you can mute the line in, you can turn on and off your headphones for mic monitoring and then if you have anything for line out you can mute that as well all right so i'm going to give you guys my honest opinions about this pros and cons so the pros there's so many of them to be honest first thing is price point it's like between 40 to 50 dollars for everything that this thing does the sound quality is great being able to use an xlr or quarter inch microphone gives you a little bit more flexibility versus it just being an XLR microphone that you can only use. And then the actual like effects on here, like as much as I wish they were a little bit better, it still gives you something to play with. It gives you a little bit something different than just a standard interface that just gives audio that you put into it. And then the best part is having these buttons to be able to map sounds to four different types of sounds that you or four different types of buttons that you have the ability of adding sounds to whether it's something that you want to say on stream and play it back being able to take audio from different sources and plug it in there to have a unique soundboard on this for 40 bucks that's not bad now here are some of the cons for me slightly nitpicky but it is the actual voice changer effects they're too close to each other when it comes to the male, the monster, and the elder. They just sound too close. The robot isn't very robotic. It's more demonic with a little bit of a robotic to it. So the only ones that, or the only one I should say that actually sounds good is Baby. So that's the only decent one. Now for electric, it, you kind of have to play with the voice a little bit. You can't just do like a normal talk. It might change it just a little bit, but it's not a crazy amount and then for me the other thing is the faders the faders they they do feel cheap it is cheap like in terms of you know the price of the mixer it's 40 bucks again i'm being a little nitpicky but overall though guys grab this you are not going to be disappointed it gives you so much flexibility and it's really good for budget streaming like if i would have saw this starting out this would be what i was going after first because of how much it offers for the price point that it is. As much as I love some of the bigger, more expensive mixers that are out there, this is a pretty good contender for beginning streamers and also streamers who don't want to break the bank. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. I know I went through a lot of information on here. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you do actually own this, let me know your own type of opinions on the mixer itself, or if you plan on getting one this holiday or in the future or anything like that. So definitely check Amazon. Just look up the model number, which is the Fifine CS3. You'll find it there. Sometimes it fluctuates between 40, 50 bucks, but it's worth it, guys. It really is. But I appreciate you giving me your time in today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care.